There are a lot of things that come to mind when you think about snow. You might think of the joy of a snowball fight or just the icy temperatures which uh, allow for snow. But snow presents us with pictures of purity, health, the effectiveness and power of God's word, as well as the glory of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you a little bit more. Snow is a powerful image in the Bible. While we may first think about the danger of snow on roads or the cold temperatures that allow for snow to remain on the ground, there are several pictures and themes that I think of when I think about snow. Think about snow in general. Have you ever watched the snow fall and been amazed or impressed by the beautiful white landscape which builds over time? Job 37, 6 and 7 states about snow. He directs the snow to fall on the earth and tells the rain to pour down. Then everyone stops working so they can watch his power. Snow is also a symbol of purity. The bright and clean color of snow, pure white, is a symbol in scripture of God's forgiveness and the purity which it brings. Psalm 51, 7, David states, Purify me from my sins and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Isaiah 1, 18, Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. Snow is a symbol used to describe the brightness of health. In Lamentations 4, 7, Our princes once glowed with health, brighter than snow, whiter than milk. Their faces were as ruddy as rubies, their appearance like fine jewels. Snow is also effective at providing moisture for crops in the cold of winter, and at the turn of spring it helps water vegetation. It is comparable to the effectiveness of God's word, which God guarantees will have an effect of some sort in Isaiah 55, 10, and 11, which reads, For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return there, but water the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth, it shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose, and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. Finally, snow reminds me of the end times. That may sound odd, but you can think of it this way. Remember the brightness of the purity of Jesus Christ, who gave his life as a sacrifice for our sins so that we could be made pure. Daniel talks about the Ancient One, the Lord, who is present even from creation. In Daniel 7, 9, I watched his thrones were put in place, and the Ancient One sat down to judge. His clothing was as white as snow, his hair like purest wool. He sat on a fiery throne with wheels of blazing fire, and we see at his resurrection. Matthew 28, 3. His face shone like lightning, and his clothing was as white as snow. And as he tells John about the end times in Revelation 1, 14. His head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were like flames of fire. And people, he will come again with the sound of a trumpet, and he will descend to take his people home. But my question to you is, will you be ready? Will you be cleaned and purified from your sins by the powerful work of Jesus Christ? Or will you be stuck in the mud of unforgiven sin? Will you be made white as snow with the purity of Jesus Christ and the righteousness which he imputes? We see the beauty of nature, God's creation, through snow. But there's so much more about snow that should send us into utter awe of the Most High God. And what should be, can be. There's snow, good reason, not to follow Jesus. So I urge you, do so today. Tell others about it. You know, be a laborer in the harvest. Take part in the, in the whole system. Go and make disciples of all nations. So when you think of snow, think of these things from Scripture. About the purity which forgiveness brings through Jesus Christ. About the appearance of health, the brightness of life. About the effectiveness and the power of God's word as well as the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ, who will come again to return for his people. So God bless you, and drive safely.